United were 2-0 up at halftime in Ruud van Nistelrooy's final game as interim boss thanks to an early strike from Bruno Fernandes and an own goal from Victor Christensen. And Garnacho, on as a substitute, wrapped up the victory in stunning fashion with a wonderful curling effort to make it 3-0 in the 82nd minute. It was an outstanding finish from the Argentina international, and one that took him to seven goals for the season in all competitions. But although he initially ran away, the winger refrained from celebrating, and actually looked annoyed after finding the net. His lack of reaction was picked up by United fans, who weighed in with remarks. Many theorized that Garnacho's celebration was in response to being benched for the fixture, or perhaps even to recent criticism he has received from supporters. One commented, I'm trying to understand why Garnacho didn't celebrate his goal. A second said, Garnacho is not celebrating that, because he's thinking F you to all the criticism he's gotten recently. Kid is 20, talented, stick with him. A third wrote, Garnacho didn't celebrate, he's angry at us. A fourth added, Garnacho did not celebrate because the fans have been slagging him off. A fifth posted, after constant abuse from many Manchester United fans toward their best player this season, Garnacho didn't celebrate, knowing he isn't valued enough by the fan base. Prior to United's Europa League win over Payok, Garnacho had an exchange with a supporter who told him to pass better, score a goal, and work on your first touch. As he signed autographs and posted for pictures, Garnacho replied, Why are you not playing? The victory means new United boss Ruben Amorim will inherit a side 13th in the Premier League when he officially takes the reins on November 11.